Number 9. Richard Sigmund 47-year-old college professor Richard Sigmund accidentally killed an 18-year-old student during an altercation with a third party on the morning of July the 30th of 2022. Subsequent reports detailed how Sigmund had gotten into an argument with a male patron while at a restaurant in Carrollton, Georgia. As the dispute escalated in intensity, the professor allegedly threatened to shoot the other man at which point he was asked to leave the establishment. Although Sigmund complied, he reportedly waited outside near the parking lot, intending to take revenge against the man with whom he'd clashed. When the other man exited the restaurant, Sigmund opened fire at him, inadvertently hitting the car that uninvolved student Anna Jones was sitting in. Law enforcement was called to the scene, and the officers who subsequently took Sigmund into custody noted that he appeared to be highly intoxicated. In the aftermath, the professor was fired from his job at the University of West Georgia and held in custody without bond. Number 8. Charles Lieber between 2012 and 2015, a Harvard University professor hid his involvement with the Chinese government and failed to disclose a portion of his earnings on his federal income tax returns. 62-year-old Dr. Charles Lieber had been a principal investigator and professor at the prestigious institution since 2008, receiving over $15 million in federal research grants in the span of 11 years. Unbeknownst to his employers, however, had secretly begun collaborating with the Wuhan University of Technology and had also taken part in a Chinese governmental recruitment program. During this time, he was awarded a monthly salary of $50,000 as well as living expenses approximating $150,000. Lieber was granted over $1 million to establish a lab at the Chinese University. In 2018 and 2019, when questioned by U.S. federal authorities about his alleged affiliation with the Chinese government and the payments he'd received, Lieber denied any wrongdoing. Then, in December of 2021, the professor was found guilty of making a false income tax return and failing to report foreign accounts, as well as several other financial misdeeds. Lieber's sentencing hearing was scheduled for January of 2023. Number 7. Wyndham Latham and Andrew Warren Northwestern University professor Wyndham Latham and Oxford University employee Andrew Warren surrendered themselves to the authorities following a nationwide manhunt in the summer of 2017. Both men were suspects in the murder of Latham's 26-year-old boyfriend, Trenton James Cornell Duralo. The latter's corpse had been discovered in his Chicago apartment on July the 27th after a cryptic tip was delivered to the building manager. The victim had reportedly been stabbed over 70 times. Investigators immediately identified Cornell Duralo's partner as their prime suspect, a hunch only strengthened by rumors of an affair between Latham and Warren. Security footage subsequently confirmed that both men had been in the building at the time of the murder. When attempts to contact the suspects were unsuccessful, a warrant was issued for their arrests while 61-year-old Warren eventually walked into a police station in San Francisco, California, to turn himself in, 42-year-old Latham, who specialized in microbiology and immunology, surrendered to U.S. Marshals in Oakland in a peculiar commemoration of the man they'd brutally murdered themselves. Latham and Warren made donations to a Wisconsin library in honor of Cornell Duralo. Warren ultimately pleaded guilty to first-degree murder as part of a plea deal that sentenced him to 45 years in prison. In February of 2022, Latham was sentenced to a minimum of 53 years behind bars. Number 6. Rai Hakianagi On the night of December the 23rd of 2019, Massachusetts professor Rai Hakianagi violently attacked Laurette Savoy, a colleague with whom she'd become infatuated. The two women worked at Mount Holyoke College in South Hadley, where they'd reportedly struck up a solid friendship many years prior to the incident. 50-year-old Haki Anagi decided to confess her romantic feelings for her co-worker during the holiday season, but was flatly rejected, which infuriated her. She began attacking Savoy with garden clippers, a fire poker, and even tossed rocks at her, bloodied and terrified. The victim went back on her previous rejection and pretended to be romantically interested in her crazed assailant. Eventually, Haki Anagi agreed to call 911 due to the severity of Savoy's wounds. 
when police arrived, they rushed the wounded woman to the ER, where she was treated for several lacerations and broken bones, most of which were concentrated on her face. Savoy only revealed the identity of her attacker to police officers once Hakianagi was out of sight, afraid of how her colleague might react. Hakianagi was taken into custody while still carrying Savoy's keys, cell phone, and glasses. On October the 20th of 2021, the professor was sentenced to between 10 and 12 years in prison, having been found guilty of armed assault with intent to murder, home invasion, mayhem, and entering the nighttime with the intent to commit a crime. Number 5. Karen Halman While returning from a spring break trip to Nicaragua in 2015, sociology professor Karen Halman was arrested at the Miami International Airport for her belligerent behavior during her flight. The 52-year-old Penn State associate professor was charged with disorderly conduct for allegedly arguing with several passengers, lighting a cigarette, and ranting about US foreign policy on board the aircraft. After being released on a $500 bond, Halnan claimed to have been mistreated by members of law enforcement while she was in their custody. The initial incident on the plane, which had been recorded by a fellow passenger, quickly went viral after being uploaded online in the aftermath. In the video, Halnan loudly exclaimed that the US had declared war on Venezuela and called the latter country's former president, Hugo Chavez, a great hero. She even justified lighting a cigarette by stating, every revolutionary smokes. During a subsequent argument with another passenger, Halnan was accused of being a security threat. Several fellow travelers expressed their irritation with the fact that they'd be missing their connecting flights due to the delays the woman's arrest would cause once they landed. Number 4. Rainier Reinscheid On July the 27th of 2012, University of California professor Rainier Reinscheid was arrested after police discovered threatening emails targeted towards officials at his late son's school. 48-year-old Reinscheid's alarming messages described his threats to kill the school's assistant principal in vivid detail. He also reportedly discussed shooting at students and burning the building down. The German-born professor blamed school officials for the death of his young son, Klaas Stube, but hadn't actually sent the emails to his prospective victims. Before his threats ever came to fruition, the messages were discovered by the police while they examined his cell phone after he was arrested three days earlier for starting a fire in a Los Angeles park. In the ensuing investigation, detectives were also able to link Reinscheid to several other instances of arson. During his trial, the disgraced professor apologized for his actions and pleaded for mercy from the court. In August of 2013, Orange County Superior Court Judge Greg Prickett sentenced Reinscheid to 14 years in prison for his crimes. Number 3. Joseph Scheiler on February the 15th of 2017, police raided the home of Oakland University professor Joseph Scheiler after receiving tips of illicit activities taking place at his residence. Four college-aged people were found inside the house as well as several illegal substances. The 49-year-old professor had been teaching at the university since 2004 and had been awarded tenure seven years prior to his subsequent arrest. Although Scheiler was generally regarded as popular among students, the man had been anonymously accused of hosting parties for co-eds, including young adults below the legal drinking age. The professor consequently faced charges of possession with intent to deliver felony firearm and operation of a drug house. In March of 2018, Shiloh was sentenced to between three and four years in prison by Judge Cheryl Matthews. The man was informed that he'd be deported to his native country of Canada upon his release. Today's topic was requested by Deborah DeRose. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Dirk D. Obink Before June of 2019, Dirk D. Obink was considered an expert in papyrology, the study of ancient literature, having been employed at such illustrious institutions as Oxford University, the Oxy Reinkus Papyri Project and Christchurch, Oxford. After suspicions began to arise regarding the veracity of some of the documents Obink had authenticated, an investigation was launched and his privileges at his various places of employment were revoked. 
In October of 2019, Obink was accused of stealing papyri and selling the materials to museums, as well as removing texts belonging to Oxford University. The investigation uncovered that more than 120 historical pieces had gone missing under Obink's watch. Several of the museums the disgraced professor had sold the pieces to ultimately agreed to return them to the institutions. Despite the seeming abundance of evidence against Obink, he wasn't arrested until April of 2020. Then in December of the following year, the man lost a federal lawsuit centered around the fraudulent sale of ancient papyrus and was consequently ordered to pay $7 million as restitution. The exact number of historical documents Obink stole couldn't be accurately calculated by investigators. Number 1. Nikolai Stefan Pop Nikolai Stefan Pop, a 51-year-old business administration professor at York University in Toronto, Canada, was arrested and charged with two counts of assault on February 7th of 2020. Subsequent reports indicated that the incidents in question occurred separately. The first was on January the 3rd and the second 13 days later, although authorities suggested that there could potentially be other unreported assaults. Pop boarded the TTC subway train in Toronto and took a seat next to a pair of young women who he proceeded to grope. The victims managed to take pictures of the assailant and later posted them online in order to warn other potential victims. The women received immediate support from the public and other users shared similar experiences. Several York University students recognized the man in the photos as Professor Pop and promptly contacted the police to report his misconduct. Thanks for watching. Would you rather teach a class full of juvenile offenders or have your basement converted into a halfway house? Let us know in the comments section below.